Auckland's um, pretty unique. It's the only city in the world built on a volcanic field of its kind. There are 50 or so volcanoes in Auckland and um, many of our parks are centred on them. They're a really important aspect of our landscapes. This is the Domain Volcano, a big explosion crater with the um, museum on the right-hand side there. Rangitoto is probably our most icon iconic landform. That's our youngest volcano and it's also our biggest. Some of the um, geologists I talk to um, suggest that that means that the next one might even be bigger. Um, recent research has shown that Rangitoto, unlike most of the other volcanoes, is the result of two separate eruptions um, spaced some decades apart. Our volcanoes come from basalt lava. This is um, some lava pouring into the sea in Hawaii, where I was lucky to travel to a few years ago, um, and had the, the fortunate experience of seeing what some of our volcanoes might have been like when they were erupting. <clears throat> The heat of that magma and its fluidity shape the uh, eruptions and uh, most of them start off explosively and produce these explosion craters like Tank Farm and Onipoto on the North Shore. The more productive volcanoes produce scoria cones like this. This is a volcano in Hawaii. It's called Pu'u O'o. Uh, it is uh, produced by fire fountaining molten magma spraying into the air under gas pressure. And in Auckland, uh, that kind of eruption has produced a number of our familiar scoria cones. The, probably the volcanoes that are best known to us, like uh, Mount Eden here, probably one of our best known volcanoes, one of our favorite parks. Um, and also a key feature of Auckland's landscape in central Auckland. The um, volcanic uh, activity in Auckland's produced other features too, um, so un almost unknown features like Wirri Lava Cave here. This is Auckland's longest lava cave, it's 300 metres long. Uh, it's down in Wirri. For safety reasons it's not really open to the public. Uh, but a fascinating scientific uh, artefact of our volcanic eruptions. Our volcanoes have also uh, produced features that were used by Auckland's Maori um, original inhabitants. So we have these amazing archaeological features like One Tree Hill here, Maunga Kia Kia. These things are pretty much uh, New Zealand's Stonehenge. The features on these volcanoes are amazing from a scientific and archaeological point of view and I think for Auckland's Maori population also a connection to their, their past. Um, for us, for many of us, they're just local parks so it's uh, fascinating to have these really important archaeological features like these really literally in our backyards forming, forming our recreational areas. This is Mangari Mountain. Auckland Council's currently investigating uh, whether we could put together a World Heritage Bid to the IUCN for the protection of the volcanoes uh, on an international scale. The volcanoes have also been used, of course, by Europeans. This is North Head on the North Shore where you can see, as well as the Maori um, uh, fortifications, fortifications built by Europeans for the Russian scare in the 1880s and for other um, concerns. <clears throat> Probably my favourite volcanoes are some of the ones that are in, in better condition, that are, that are more natural. This is Crater Hill down near Papatoitoi, a wonderful explosion crater and one of the few explosion, or nearly the only explosion crater where the outer slopes are still intact. The little lake in the middle of Crater Hills uh, a reserve, the remainder uh, is in private ownership. Nearby is Pukaki Lagoon explosion crater. Um, this is a uh, feature that's recently protected by council and the central parts owned by the local iwi at uh, Pukaki Marae. That central flat area is filled with sediments and drill cores through that have found evidence of many, many other volcanic eruptions in the area, including ash layers from volcanoes as far away as Ruapehu. We haven't always looked after Auckland's volcanoes terribly well and we've put them to pretty uh, destructive use. This is Maunga Takitaki and you can see the airport in the background. 
That was a hill that you can see at the lower right, uh, which had wonderful archaeology on it, until it was quarried away to form most of that runway for the airport. So an important use, but also a loss of Auckland's heritage. Other volcanoes have been nearly as badly damaged. This is Three Kings, uh, but the remaining part of it, of actually the original five little scoria cones, uh, Big King there at the lower left, um, is, is now a reserve and sort of uh, heavily used by locals, um, a favourite dog walking park. And of course our most natural and intact volcano is Rangitoto. Um, our youngest volcano, our largest and an iconic feature of Auckland. Uh, recent work's shown that it's erupted at least twice and that's really different to the other Auckland volcanoes. It's also one of the few places where there's any native vegetation left on the Auckland volcanic field. Here's a Pohotakawa uh, flowering uh, last summer. And um, as you can see, it's living in a pretty tough environment. So to, to finish up, um, the Auckland volcanic field and the geology of that has ended up producing landforms that have actually ended up in our urban environment being important recreational areas that Aucklanders enjoy, visit, um, play in as if it is their own backyard. The volcanoes also provide scientific information that give us a warning of some of the hazards that are going to certainly face Auckland City in the future. Uh, that's all.